Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for a daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Wednesday, February the 3rd, and we're using the Fairy Oracle deck by Lucy Cavendish all this week. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And first card is card 24, Golden Gift. We have this popping up from last week as well. And we have Child of the Moon, 36. And we have that Gatekeeper again. And the Gatekeeper is card 45. Okay, so, golden gift from last week. Magical help is on its way. You're not alone. So you decided to break away from the toxic relationship, whether it was a friendship or a romantic partner or spouse, lover. There's help, okay? There's always help. You're not alone. All you need to do is to call on your angels, call on your spirit guides, Make use of these resources that you have. This way you don't feel like you have the burden all by yourself. You'll be pointed in the right direction. Uh, you know, even after I pray, I, I feel like such a sense of over, like, like a, an inner peace overcome me that I know I did the right thing because I asked for help. I surrendered. I couldn't figure out what the problem was or what I should do. So I asked for help, and there's help for you as well. Don't try to go it alone. A few days ago, we confided in a person, you know, that we felt was trustworthy with our situation, but if you don't have anyone to go to like that, a personal friend, um, call on your angels. Call on your angels. And then we have Child of the Moon, and what a beautiful picture that is. Okay, and Child of the Moon, she's the fairy's reaching up to the full moon in the sky, and the sky is a beautiful purple and pink. And she has this beautiful white flowing dress on. And the card reads, Forgiveness, Transcending the Ego. And what I get from Spirit is not necessarily forgiving the other person, but forgiving yourself. Whatever you feel, you may have done that might have caused things not to work out, forgive yourself. Because at that time, okay, you did what you thought you knew how to do. You did what you thought was best. And there's no going back and, and changing the past. What's done is done. And transcending the ego. Yes, when we forgive people, okay, we're not saying that what they did to us was right. Okay, we're forgiving them for our own sake. So we're not carrying around the, the vengeance, the anger, the hostility, the sadness, the depression. We're letting all of that go. Because if we don't let that go, we're allowing that to take over our lives, to make us bitter. And when we become bitter, we're of negative energy, lower vibration. We're going to draw more of that to us. But when we transcend the ego and we say, I'm going to forgive what has happened, it doesn't mean that you have to go back into relationship with that person. You're just forgiving them for the sake of yourself and not carrying around all of that baggage. And transcending the ego, yes. That's exactly what we do when you forgive someone, again, you're not saying that what was done was right. You're doing what's best for you. And then the last card. We remember her. The gatekeeper. She's guarding that door. And it says, fairy time, time shifts, dimensional slips. And I don't know exactly what the guidebook says on this card, okay? I usually do not read the guidebooks at all, and I go purely on intuition in what I feel at the time. And I still feel that this is a card of someone 
guarding their heart. Someone guarding themselves. Someone kind of pulling back and not really trusting another person. And this door in the back, that's the door to their own self, the door to their own inner world where you're scared to maybe let someone in. Okay, you don't want to let this person into your heart. You know, your mind is telling you, you know, to be careful. And she's standing guard. Very serious look. Very mistrusting look she has on her face. So maybe this is regarding someone that you were involved with before. And you've been down that road with them. And they've burned you before. And now you're being a bit more, how could I say, uh, you're... This person seems like she was done wrong, and it's not going to be that easy, okay, for her to let this person who did her wrong back into the life, okay? She's looking as though she's stopping this person right in their tracks. They're not even getting close to the door. The door is all the way back here, and she's up here, and she's very, being very vigilant about it, too. And also... The snow. The snow is very symbolic, too. It's like an icy, cold feeling, like a feeling of maybe resentment, like a deep bitterness, which we need to forgive that person for. But it doesn't look like she's going to open that door to her heart, to this person, and maybe very, 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 very careful before she opens that door again. And that's not a bad thing. Okay, sometimes we need time to heal. Because if we're not healed from a previous relationship, we're just going to bring that junk right into another relationship. And that's not fair to the next person. So this is telling us to guard ourselves. Very interesting reading today. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.